Welcome to the Tesla Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is May 16th, 2024, and we have a lot to cover in the world of Tesla and autonomous vehicles. Remember, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. First up, Tesla shareholders are gearing up for a pivotal vote on June 13th to decide whether CEO Elon Musk should receive a $46 billion compensation package. This vote stems from a 2018 pay package that was later invalidated by a Delaware judge due to negotiation concerns. Musk, who owns 13% of Tesla stock, won't be able to vote, leaving the decision to the remaining 87% of shares. Institutional shareholders like Vanguard haven't guaranteed their support, and individual investors who hold around 30% of Tesla shares could significantly influence the outcome. Despite Tesla's recent financial struggles and layoffs, The company is campaigning hard to secure approval for Musk's compensation. In related news, Tesla's electric vehicle charging division has faced mass layoffs, including the firing of charging chief Rebecca Tanucci and her entire 500-member team. This move came after a meeting where Musk was dissatisfied with Tanucci's presentation. The layoffs have disrupted the supercharger network, a crucial part of Tesla's success. Although Musk has promised to continue expanding the network, the energy team taking over has caused delays and uncertainty. The $500 million expansion budget for the supercharger network is seen as a significant reduction from previous plans, adding to the challenges Tesla faces in maintaining its charging infrastructure. Switching gears to legal matters, a federal judge in California has ruled that Tesla must face a class-action lawsuit accusing the company of misleading customers about its self-driving capabilities. The lawsuit, led by customer Thomas Losavio, claims that Tesla engaged in a pattern of fraud by repeatedly delaying the promised full self-driving, FSD, technology. The case gained traction after a fatal incident in 2018 involving Tesla's autopilot feature. Despite Tesla's recent settlement related to the incident, concerns about the readiness of FSD technology persist. The judge's ruling has allowed the lawsuit to move forward, contributing to a 2% drop in Tesla's stock and a 30% decline in stock value for the year. In product news, Elon Musk has announced that the Tesla Cybertruck will receive the full self-driving suite in late June. Despite being on the market for six months, the Cybertruck has not yet been equipped with this feature due to unique factors like the steer-by-wire system and camera positioning. The next FSD release, version 12.4, will be tested internally this weekend before rolling out to beta testers next week. The Cybertruck will skip this release and receive version 12.5 in late June, marking a crucial test for Tesla's FSD capabilities. On the regulatory front, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, TSA, has intensified its scrutiny of autonomous vehicle companies, including Tesla, Ford, Waymo, Cruz, and Zooks. The NHTA is investigating alleged safety lapses and examining hundreds of crashes, some fatal. The agency now requires more data from companies to verify safety claims and is using real-time crash reports and videos of driverless vehicles behaving unpredictably. This increased oversight has led to tension between regulators and the private sector. Specifically, NTETSA has reopened investigations into Tesla's autopilot system, finding that the updated software was involved in at least 20 crashes. This re-evaluation could have significant implications for Tesla's stock price and future plans for robo-taxis. That's all for today's episode of the Tesla Daily News. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Stay informed, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. And we'll-